Have you ever walked past a sleek car, maybe something sporty or luxurious, and noticed that the windows don't seem to have frames around them? It's a small detail, but it gives the car a clean, uninterrupted look. These are called frameless windows, and they're more common than you might think. But have you ever wondered why some cars have them and why most don't? Today, we're diving into the world of frameless car windows, exploring their origins, why automakers use them, their pros and cons, and whether they're just for show or serve a real purpose, right here on History of Simple Things. Frameless windows actually date back several decades. They were especially popular in coupe-style cars from the 1960s and 70s, when designers prioritized style over practicality. Think of cars like the Chevrolet Corvette Stingray or classic BMW models. Designers wanted these vehicles to stand out. Removing the metal frame around the window gave the side profile a cleaner, more flowing look. It was about creating a sense of elegance, minimalism, and a touch of futuristic appeal. Even today, when you look at a car like a BMW 4 Series Coupe or a Mercedes-Benz CLA, the frameless windows add to the visual drama. They're sleek, sexy, and refined. And let's be honest, they make you feel just a little cooler when you shut the door. Frameless windows are mostly found on coupes, convertibles, and some premium sedans. Why? Well, these types of vehicles are already built for style, performance, and a bit of flair. Frameless windows just fit that personality. You'll also see them on some crossovers and electric vehicles where design is a key selling point. Manufacturers like BMW, Audi, Mercedes-Benz, Tesla, and even Subaru have used frameless designs in some of their models. Interestingly, it's not just a luxury feature. Some more affordable cars like the Subaru BRZ or even older Volkswagen models also sport this look. You might be wondering, how does a frameless window stay sealed? Isn't the frame part of what keeps rain and wind out? That's where engineering comes in. Frameless windows typically come with strong rubber seals built into the car door itself. These seals compress tightly when the door closes creating a secure fit to keep out moisture, wind, and noise. In many modern cars, the window also drops slightly, about a quarter of an inch when you open the door and then rises again when you close it. This small movement helps the glass clear the seal and slide smoothly into place. It's a neat trick. And if you've ever driven a car with frameless windows, you've probably noticed that little window drop without thinking twice. So aside from the obvious visual appeal, what are the real reasons automakers go frameless? First, there's weight savings. Without the metal frame around the glass, the door assembly becomes slightly lighter. For performance-oriented cars, shaving off even a few pounds can contribute to better handling and fuel efficiency, even if just a bit. Then there's the design flexibility. Frameless designs allow for a lower roof line and sleeker doors, which help with aerodynamics. It also gives designers more freedom to shape the side profile of the vehicle without being confined to a traditional frame layout. Frameless doors can also improve visibility. With fewer visual obstructions at the window, the cabin feels a bit more open, especially when the windows are down. That's part of the charm in convertibles. Pairing the open top with completely open windows gives that breezy, airy feel. Now, frameless windows aren't all smooth lines and stylish exits. There are some notable drawbacks, and they're part of the reason not all cars use them. For starters, noise insulation isn't as effective. Because there's no fixed frame to support the window, Frameless setups tend to allow more road and wind noise into the cabin, especially at higher speeds. You may not notice it on a test drive, but after a few months, it can become more apparent. Another issue is durability. 
Over time, the rubber seals and the precise alignment that frameless windows rely on can degrade or shift slightly. This can lead to leaks, wind noise, or even difficulty closing the door if the window doesn't seat correctly. And since these systems are a bit more complex, with that little drop and rise motion, they're more prone to mechanical failure. Also, in cold climates, frameless windows can struggle. Ice can build up in the seals, preventing the window from dropping when you open the door. If that happens, trying to force the door open can actually crack the glass. There's also a conversation around safety. Traditional framed windows offer more structural rigidity, especially in side impact collisions. Framed windows are part of the overall strength of the door, helping keep it from crumpling inward. Frameless doors, by contrast, have to rely on reinforcements elsewhere. That's not to say frameless cars are unsafe, far from it. Modern engineering compensates for the lack of a window frame with reinforced door panels and advanced safety features. But it's a consideration that some automakers keep in mind, especially for family vehicles where safety is the number one priority. Maintenance is another angle to consider. If you own a frameless window car, you need to be a bit more careful with door slams. Excessive force can misalign the window or damage the motorized drop feature. Also, when washing your car or replacing weather seals, you'll want to ensure that everything is perfectly aligned. Otherwise, you might end up with leaks or whistling noises while driving. For older cars, once those seals wear out or the window motor goes bad, repair costs can be a bit higher compared to traditional frame doors. It's not always a deal breaker but it's something to think about if you're shopping for a used model with this feature. So, are frameless windows all about style? Well, partly, yes. Design is a huge motivator, especially in today's market where cars are not just transportation, they're personal statements. Frameless windows help give off that sporty, high-end vibe that resonates with many drivers but there's also some practical reasoning behind them. Weight savings, aerodynamic improvements, and cabin visibility all play into the equation. In many cases, it's a balance between form and function. At the end of the day, frameless windows are one of those car features that combine form and function in a way that feels effortless when done right. They're stylish, aerodynamic, and offer a unique driving experience but they come with trade-offs, maintenance, noise, and potential wear. So the next time you see a car with frameless windows, you'll know it's not just for looks, though it sure doesn't hurt that they look pretty cool. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.